the skylines I also did really really long streams every day. Which is probably partially the reason why I'm so super tired at the moment. What is this? This is useless. Oh yeah, this is the old uh, old concrete making. Totally unnecessary. Six hours isn't much in this game, but you can complete it in about that time. Yeah. This game uh, takes a lot of time, definitely. Especially if you are playing it uh, the first time. It's not really a that difficult game either. There's just a, a lot of stuff in this game. But uh, lots of the things you uh, build, you can make once and then forget, and it just keeps running as you as long as you keep keep feeding it with the uh, materials. Why am I using these, by the way? Because I could do this. Hey, that's mine. Oh well. <laughs> Stupid terms. Now we have 40, 40 drones, so it's getting, getting better. Yeah, I have, I have few games, Ghost Curie. When you buy a lot of humble bundles and stuff like that, you end up with a lot of games. Plus I'm, I'm doing the Steam Curator thing. So I get a lot of games sent to me as well, from developers and their PR pe people. Uh, let's place down some more of this. Hmm, get rid of those. Um, I should actually... I should have uh, stored uh, these. Actually, that's not making them quick enough. Nah, keep running. I need uh, like a red circuit maker that just keeps storing them for me. For my use only. Because a lot of these uh, higher end uh, stuff needs uh, red circuits. It's annoying to wait for them to get made uh, by hand. Where did my robo port go? There. Hmm, we need a robo there. Let's put one down over this way. Mm, I don't really care about the cards uh, or stuff like that. I just sell them always. So I haven't really made any of those badges. What we really should do is automate making of these as well. <laughs> Maybe that is a bit too crazy. I don't know. No, I'll just automate the raid production. And have them deliver those to me and uh, I'll grab steel whenever. Do it! <laughs> I probably should. Oh, actually, 
actually have a lot of these. I mean, eventually you should have everything automated, so you can just have... Hello, drones. Can I have lots of stuff? Thank you. And they just deliver everything for you. Uh, actually, one thing I should do is... Uh, Uh, automate uh, making uh, the faster conveyor belts. These uh, blue ones. It's only a crazy idea until it succeeds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be a bit too uh, resource in intensive uh, for my current base. And my drone amount. Some point. Um, let's do a passive provider chest here. And uh, request. Yeah, 200 of those. Actually, yeah, maybe 100 is enough. So now the drones will uh, deliver those to me from the box. Have you ever played Anno? Yes, I have. I have. I've streamed uh, 2070 and 1404 multiple times. Both are really awesome games. I'm really looking forward to the new one coming out uh, in November. And I will definitely be streaming that as well. Only thing that bothers me about the new one is that it costs arm and a leg. It's really expensive. Uh, it's a uh, 60 euros. Normal games are big AA games are uh, only 50 euros in here, and then there is a 20 euro season pass on top of that. It's pretty robbery. So what do we need for the better uh, power armor? Did we research that? No. We need uh, that. Work faster, damn it. Uh, it. Seems my green production is actually dead. Ah, because this, this box is dead. You're going to see this skylines after dark? My uh, game barely already does. Yeah, uh, part of the Skylines uh, expansion was uh, uh, free. Okay, oh, actually, I can sh actually have that. Not that. That's the other one. Is this the image? No, that's my break image. Uh, let me find you the image. But uh, part of the expansion uh, was free for everyone. It's here. This one is massive. <laughs> Make it smaller. Here. Uh, so this is uh, the free portion of the Skylines expansion. Part of it is uh, free for everyone as it's uh, saying here. And uh, part of that was uh, paid only. But you get the day and night cycle and the economy stuff and uh, all those free buildings and the crime system and all, everything, that's uh, for everyone. <laughs> yeah, my wife is sneezing there again. And uh, then you had to buy the expansion uh, to get the leisure and tourism specialization and some of the other stuff. That's how uh, Paradox always does uh, uh, their expansions. They always uh, add part of the expansion as a free update for everyone. And then part of the update is uh, only for people who pay for it. It's a really, really awesome system they do. Big fan of that. I need drones down here as well. We get these again. Thank you.
Can it be that there is a new bug at Skylands where a lot of people get sick? Uh, actually, uh, that was happening in the previous version for me at least, uh, already Milford. Just, uh, for some reason, everyone gets sick. Uh, like, there's no any real visible reason for them to get sick and you get this massive, massive sickness wave. But I, I was definitely getting that already in the previous version, Milford. The other one is, of course, the death wave. When uh, you have a lot of residential, you add uh, in one go and everyone moves in at the same time. And they also die at the same time, then you get this massive death wave happening. Uh, you might be also uh, contaminating your uh, water source, uh, Milford. Do you happen to have any uh, like water towers or uh, water pumps that's taking uh, water from a polluted area or po polluted water area? Because uh, that's a good way to get everyone sick and dead. I've, I've definitely done that as well. Just accidentally have a... Some pollution in there. So you're waiting for gears. Which is having issues uh, getting blades quick enough. Turning those. I should actually change this factory as well into one of these newer ones. So it works a bit faster. Yeah, I, need, I should actually make fast insert uh, making as well. I I need to automate everything. I need to like to make a li priority list. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Instead of I need to do that. I need to do that as well, and that as well, and that as well. But that's a really awesome thing about this game. You you never really run out of uh, things to do. There's always something you need to improve on or add. really need a drone port here, but it would be nice to connect through here as well. Well, eventually we would like to have that here, so really there. Both super mayors. Let's build a new town. Oh, we need water. Build the water pumps on the old nuclear power plant <laughs> where the secret bio weapon lever there was. <laughs> Pretty much. So now we have quite nice coverage on most of the important production with the drones. So now, now I'm getting raids delivered, which is nice. And uh, uh, here. Let's add some speed on these. These are speed modules. They increase uh, the speed by 20% each. You can stack them. 
but they also increase the energy consumption. These are just level 1s, there's level 2s that are 30% each, and there's a level 3 which is 50% each, but they require a shit ton of materials, so I'm not gonna do those. And uh, if it's not changed, uh, the rocket defense requires like 500 level 3s and 500 of all of these level 3s, and it's like, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Welcome back, Silum. It, it's just insane how much the rocket thing needs. Hopefully this helps the production here a bit. I mean, it is a 40% increase on each of these. It's still not getting enough. Maybe a new furnace would help as well. Uh, so we needed a... This efficiency module. I'm gonna get the new uh, power arrow for, more of a, for myself. Let me add an extra furnace here. I kind of want to move these furnaces and these furnaces and the furnaces up north, everything in a same location and then just have a massive uh, plate line leaving that area. Hmm. <laughs> add that to the list as well. Next step, add this. I need like a spreadsheet and a secretary who keeps track of things, of things to build. There we go. So now the situation should be at least a tiny bit better. Well, it's, it's almost f working full time now. Yes, uh, combat drones are kind of per uh, not permanent though. There's uh, these defender capsules. I can make one of those. But I don't think there was. Actually, there is uh, there is the combat robotics, but you get these uh, capsules only. <laughs> Buy again, Zilm. And they're like a temporary thing you do. And it has this uh, grenade throwing range, and you just throw it there, and you have this combat drone around you for a while. It has a duration, and then it dies. I think it does. Was there actually a duration on this? I think there was uh, at least at one time. Well, I guess we'll see when it drops down. If it drops down, I, I seem to have a. Under me here is uh, this uh, follower. Maximum number of followers. And it doesn't count the drones. I'm uh, using this uh, power armor here, uh, and it's actually modular. And I have this uh, personal robot there, so I can have uh, 10 robots around me as well. Wherever I go, like these uh, robot parts we build, it's the same, but around myself. Yeah, it died. So yeah, it's it's only temporary. Why is there a coal in that? Oh, I know, I know. 
Hmm. I should need a smart inserter. I know I stuck some of them somewhere. Here. Uh, one of the drills is randomly taking a bit of coal. So I'm gonna put smart inserter here. And you can uh, put filters in there. So this one is only only picking coal from this line and putting it into the box there. So this will allow me to clean the line. Actually, it should be a bit more north over here. One of the iron drills up north has a uh, one tile of coal in it, which means it's sometimes pushing a, a bit of coal in there. Yeah, there's some coal pollution here. And we can just use the smart one to clear them out. I very rarely use the smart inserters that much. For that purpose, this is nice. So it seems this is, this is now fixed. We have all the all the arms in the green line, which means my science is now running just fine. I have a tank, by the way, as well. This is my tank. <laughs> just park it up here. I still haven't made a, the shells for the tank either. Why did you drop it there? It's mine. It was actually trying to deliver uh, that thing to me, but I ran away. So, uh, instead of using the uh, uh, robots, I'm using these uh, poison capsules to fight. So I can just throw these, like in the forest here, and just kill the kill the forest. And these are much more efficient than using any drones. And then of course my own own gun. And the shotgun. I'm actually really low on ammo. I should pick up some ammo. Is the train coming? No. Nope. <laughs> I have to be careful. Uh, my train line goes there. And you can get crushed by the train. This is dead. And that's dead. Actually no, that was just a tiny bit under it. Since my copper mining there is coming to an end, mm, you need glass, not plastic. Cop you need copper. Should I actually just grab copper in from from here? It might be easy and good thing to do. There you go. Make me some solar panels. Actually. Those in there. Those in there. It's in my radar. Uh production in this area is not good enough. Even though it seems to have uh, all the materials necessary, it's just uh, so goddamn slow to make those. So maybe I should add a extra factory here or something. 
Yeah, that seems like like a good idea. Let's request these as well. Box is just out of the range. Well, time to make a robo port just to get those. <laughs> Adding more things because I'm too lazy to go pick it up myself. But uh, the more I automate things, uh, the less I need to run around myself. Which means I can construct more stuff faster. Box seems uh, kind of unnecessary now. And having this would probably make this work better, so it splits them evenly. Although this one, uh, can I do that? This one will just uh, throw them on the blue line instead. It seems that uh, this one doesn't actually require this many. Iron gears. Oh yeah. Uh, those. Roboport. That should definitely help this uh, a lot. Is this a. Uh, yeah, that works like this. Those. What did you just bring to me? It's so nice. With all those drones, drones now. Um, do you have any requester chests around? Uh, put one there. Still doesn't show how many drones I have now. Hm. What is that? Robot buddy pet thing, travel along with me, shooting stuff. Yeah, that would be nice. I could uh, definitely take one of those as well. So now we can research this. I might have to go and kill some aliens soon. <laughs> Look at the drones. Zzz, nom, 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 nom. 107 drones now. <laughs> it's also when you request something and just about a billion drones come at your way. You're all by yourself, conversation partner would be nice. You can actually play this game uh, in multiplayer pitch lower. It was added uh, fairly recently. But this is totally multi multiplayerable game. And it's actually working fairly well. As well. 
building this mess together with a friend. Or I think it's actually does does it allow more more than one friend? Or is it still a, just a two players? A multiplayer server with a lot of people would be... It's more than two? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Necro. Necro Vital. Having like a multiplayer server would be just absolute mayhem. More or less unlimited depending on the connection. Okay, that's good. Am I rem uh, remembering uh, wrong, or was it uh, when the mu multiplayer uh, first came, it was only two people? Sharing the map between all, and the chance for a decent goes up. Ah, that sucks. Um, I think I forgot to do something here. That should help. Uh, that probably means my battery production has been dead for a long time. Oh well. It should be fixed now. Hmm. Let's go uh, concrete the world. Start from here. Power armor. Let's get the next uh, module. There you go. Still have quite a lot of, lot of that left. Let's put it uh, down on this side. I need to... I kinda wanna get the landfill mode and fix those holes. Don't, don't stick the wall food to me. Uh, we need uh, definitely more of these uh, constructor robots as well. It's a bit sl too slow. I think it was Stronghold where you suddenly get a uh, disconnect and play against an AI all of a sudden, not sure. The funniest is if one where you could connect and reconnect whenever you wanted, and meanwhile the AI would play. Flowing flakes. But, but the random fish! True. True, random fish. Try not to give you uh, power. Oops. 
Can you, uh, dump these, please? I don't know, I don't know. I don't think that is. Uh, other than just have heal over time. It's annoying because you cannot even automate the fishing. Three formats a healing item? Yeah, mods. I wanna have a uh, fishing drones. <laughs> Just put a drone port next to a water there and then dedicate an area where your drones will go fishing. Just fly over the fish, just zzz, dump, zzz, zzz, comes home and you have some fresh delivered fish to your home. What are you bringing to me? Oh, taking my wood. Thank you. I think you took a... Did you take a power line? Was that a power line? Yeah, I think we... Killed uh, the power as well. Oops. <laughs> I think that's the power line going into this base there. Hey, uh, the tuppy. How's it going? 125 drones now. Uh, I'm just gonna place this down. Split over here. Can those and that. Let's get a uh, automated uh, drone production on the other drone as well. <laughs> Here, quick and in and out. Still, still sick. Ah. Tried the stream earlier, didn't work out. I'm doing really good. Uh, I'm just uh, tired as hell because I went to see the. Eclipse last night. Someone said you can copy the requester chest uh, information somehow. Any uh, any idea how that works? can, same as you can copy all machine info. How does that work? Same as with assemblers and more. I've, I've actually never done that before. Uh, the question was, uh, you can copy the settings uh, between uh, requester chests. Shift, right click to copy, shift, left click to paste. Okay, let's try this. Right click. Uh, 
Oh, that is... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, shift works. Shift right click, shift left click, and just copy the... the information from that box. That's nice, thank you. circuits I think yeah <laughs> zoosh I, I don't know how many do I do we need this constructor robots now I'll just stop them uh, when I feel like we have any enough those 10 for me you can copy assembly machines on the requester chest oh that's handy that's super handy hmm hmm we should end up requesting the ingredients. Yeah, that's, that is actually really awesome. That may mean uh, we might have to redesign the whole base soon. But wait, there's more. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Efficiency module trees. Yeah. Yeah. Do I really have to? I need alien artifacts. Which are in a bit short supply. We need to go kill aliens. So I need... Uh, these. And... The green ones. Five of each? Yeah. Which means we need... Uh, reds. We need red. About the billion red circuits. I have the blues. Yeah, I need the uh, red circuits. I ran out of those. There really should be a... Whoa. Suddenly massive darkness. Oh. Power issues! We have power issues! Shit. My infinite drone army is uh, draining all my power. Placing these is so much easier now.
object missing. Oh, yeah, those. Small electric poles. New in uh, version 12? Yeah, so uh, it wasn't uh, there when I was playing last time. Hopefully that helps a second. Those were the materials, yes. And change this into a provider. I need to research the extra delivery of these materials for me. So I can get different stuff all the time. Those in there, you can throw those away and that away, and that I don't need that. We'll put those in the box as well. There, now it, now it generates me a solar panels again so we can generate power. It seems we are uh, just fine during the daytime. Because we might might have to add a accumulator as, as well. Actually, is my accumulator production going on? I think I disabled uh, that yeah. A long time ago. And we could put provider just here. Did I, uh... I did, I did, okay. Just let them fly the accumulators and stuff for me. Okay, let's get shotgun ammo. How about that? power armor now, so we need uh, the processing shit, which we need uh, reds, which needs about a gazillion copper, hey Bungarar. Basic materials. I need a uh, green circuits actually. That's what I need. Yo, can I have these, please? And some of this. And some more of this. Um. Oops. 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 Can you stop playing with those? So I really badly need uh, the red uh circuits advanced so I should actually improve uh, the production on the red circuits up here uh, even more
Oops, that's a bit too many. Yeah, we we have definitely issues with power. Which probably means we should add more robots to this mess until that's fixed. Uh, you guys stop for a second. Thank you, Silm, thank you. My YouTube has uh, mostly uh, recordings from the stream and also uh, I do a few series there. Like the Concrete Jungle playthrough there is now just for YouTube. And I also have my uh, quick looks there. Yeah, one moment. Uh, I'll just uh, fix this. I'll show you it in a second. Shift. Right click. Shift. Left click. It's like magic. Still no show? Uh, uh, let me add a note to myself to fix that. I'll have to see about that, Elsador. It's probably visible, but it's not on the playlist. I think that might be the issue. Uh, this. 10 minutes. Yeah. Look at that. Those robo ports definitely added a a massive, massive amount of extra power requirement. Did you see the moon last night? Yes, yes, I did. Be moved. We had a really, really clear skies and. Uh, Good visibility, that was awesome as hell. Is of all videos? Yeah, I'll have to figure it out. That's not enough solars? Yeah, it's not. I'm gonna add more solars and more uh, accumulators. Actually, I have 50 of them now, so <laughs> let's go plop down for you. Oh, you can actually rotate this as well. Nice, because uh, we have to expand this way. Hey, you guys, can you plop down? This is so handy. Should be fine on until you hit about 750 solars. Did you uh, see how many we had at the moment? 600. So we are about 100, 100 to go. Don't have enough. Well, that's that's all the solars for now. I have uh, some accumulators as well. I'm gonna go drop them here.
That should help uh, for a moment. Thank you. They're just so eager to deliver shit for me. It's so nice. I'm just standing here and stop drops from the sky. Actually, I have a limit of 100. Let's do like 5. I need to automate creation of these. Any tips on getting something heavier than handgun injector lines? Uh, head uh, southeast from the starting city, Palpdansk, and there's an airport there which uh, allows you to uh, set up a, a shop for guns. No, the, it's the second one of Dalsador. You can buy guns online after that. Uh, and then it's just really going around from there on, just uh, hitting different locations. Modules are very resource and time intensive. Yeah, they are. Hey, Exploding Man. They are super time in intensive and resource in intensive. And the damn uh, rocket thing requires about a gazillion of them. Takes forever to make the stuff. But mostly you just need to uh, loot the stuff from the enemies. I'm trying to make this for myself. But it's so much stuff you require for that. You seem to have uh, difficulty to get cash. Uh, you need to get uh, mines, uh, Halb Danskin. There's uh, these mine locations uh, in several towns around the uh, around the map, and you can take over the ma uh, mine, and then you can get uh, cash from the mine. Like a, it's a income that keeps rolling in. If you ha if you go southeast, uh, Halb Danskin to the, the airport. And keep going down from there, you get one of the mines as well. Just take over the whole city in there. Let's go place down now. Uh, actually, let me automate uh, electric pole creation. Actually, do, do we have... Hmm. Do I need to make wood as well? Ah. Let's automate making medium electric poles.